Now I am going to show you how to customize the model. You're going to click the cogwheel icon on the left and then the person icon on the top again. Scroll to the very top of that. There's a big blue button that says customize model. You're going to click that button and then you are going to click the bottom one which says multiply screen color for art mesh. In this demo, my parts aren't really named properly but in the actual model file, it will be. So when you select a part, it lights up and then you can click it and then you can pick the multiply color you wanna add. You can play around with it as you want which is what I'm doing right now. I know it looks strange in process, but it'll look good in the finished. And for whatever multiply color you pick for her skin, for example, you're gonna wanna do that for every single part of her skin. After the first time, then you'll just hit OK, and then the next time you'll hit Paste Last Multiply Color. So you don't have to reselect the same color every time. I highly, highly recommend, therefore, doing certain parts of her body all at once. So do her skin all at once, then do her hair all at once, then do her eyes all at once. So this way you can utilize that Paste Last Multiply Color button. If you're adding a multiply color, you do not need to add a screen color and vice versa. So this is just me going through the entire model, selecting every single part of her skin that needs to be changed, and that's all the highlights, all the shadows, the lips, everything. I leave a few parts out during the demo because obviously I'm not using her like this. I'm just selecting a darker skin tone for information purposes. When you're done doing that, it is the exact same process for the hair and the eyes and the clothes. And again, you do not need to select a screen color if you select a multiply color. You only need to select a screen color if you are lightening it to be a different color. For example, anything that's colored black on her, like her brows and her eyelashes, if you wanted to change the color of those things, you would select a screen color and you would simply press OK on multiply color without changing it. And if you're darkening something, you select a multiply color and then you just press OK on screen color. So you do not have to select the same color for everything and you know, her skin can be blue if you want. You can change it however. The only thing I request you don't change is her nose and her lips. Anything else is really up for change if you want to swap out parts. If you know how to do that sort of thing, then you can feel free to do it. I will be working on downloadable hairstyles that will also be free and an outfit, thanks to another donator. In the meantime though, I think between the three hairstyles and customizing every color, you can hopefully get a unique version of her that you feel represents you. I'm going to shut up for now. For the hair, I actually selected slightly different colors for some of the strands, and I think that turns out a little cute. The eyes have a lot of little parts. There is the eyeball, the eyeball lines, the pupil, the pupil highlight. Make sure you get all those parts and you can change the colors. You don't have to make them all the same color. You can give her heterochromia. You can make her eyes multicolored, whatever you want.
And really quickly, I'm just gonna demonstrate using screen to change the color of something. As you can see with me doing it on her eyebrow, I can make it that nice purple color. I actually think she looks really cute with purple brows. And if you ever want to turn these colors off and just use her as she was, all you have to do is click those little buttons and that's it, piece by piece, and you turn it all off and she'll be back to how she was before. And then if you want to change it, it's as easy as going through the steps that we did in the beginning. Originally, I was going to have to manually make these skin color options and there wasn't going to be any other way to customize her colors, but thanks to VTube Studio having customization a native feature, it's made it a ton easier and even more customizable than she would have been before.